What's up friends? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Tuesday. I'm showing you some of the cool stuff that I sold on eBay this past week. Stuff that you can find at thrift stores and garage sales and flip online for a profit. I actually sold something to a TV show this week too, so that's pretty cool. Also, we're going to do that giveaway that we talked about last week, so stick around for that. Pretty exciting stuff. Let's get into it. This is a Nikon Nikkor lens. It's in excellent condition, still in the original box, still in the original packaging. Paid $5 for it from Goodwill. Listed on eBay, and incidentally, I have no idea what any of those letters and numbers mean. You just put those into eBay, find the exact comp, do sell similar, and you're typically good to go. But like I said, great condition, five bucks, and it sold for $72.50 on eBay. All right, so this is really cool. This is a vintage military like work shirt. And based on my research, it's from the Vietnam era. I paid $4 for it from Goodwill while we were in Charlotte. And it's actually got the Navy Seabees logo embroidered on it. So it's really cool. I paid $4 and it sold for $49.50. So back when the world went crazy and we were on our lockdown, you could sell a bread machine like almost instantly. People were in their houses, wanted to make their own food, and like I said, they just sold really quick and for some really good money. Except now, selling a bread machine is like selling an ice to an Eskimo. It's pretty difficult to do. Nobody wants them anymore. There are a few exceptions though. This one is one. This is a Zojirushi. It's a mini loaf bread maker. I paid $15 for it from a thrift store and it sold for $122 in less than a week. Kind of an older set of golf clubs here, but ones you should definitely know because they tend to sell pretty quick. This is a King Cobra 2 oversized iron set. So 3-3 pitching wedge, got the hump back and the hump shaft. Paid, I think, $30 for them from a garage sale, and they sold on eBay for $140. Also, you see I've got these zip ties on here. That's just for me to use personally while I store them. Don't ship them like this. Make sure you wrap each one individually in bubble wrap, put them in a box, and you're good to go. You guys may remember, I actually bought two of these Bose SoundTouch 10 wireless speaker systems from a garage sale. Paid $40 a piece. I listed them one at a time. Listed the first one and it sold within a week. Listed this one as soon as that one sold and it also sold within a week. Paid $40 bucks for it and it sold for $154. So this is a bag of random pieces of G.I. Joe's and like there's one guy in here that's complete. The rest of them like the legs might be pulled off, different torsos, heads might be missing. It's just random lots of parts and pieces. There's some weapons in here too. I didn't really want to take the time to go through every single little piece and look it up on eBay and not to mention I only paid six dollars for a box of G.I. Joe stuff from a thrift store so I figured I would just put these on a table, take some pictures. I listed them for auction and after seven days this thing actually sold for $2.96.99 for some broken G.I. Joes. Now there may be some rare G.I. Joe in here worth like a thousand dollars but if I don't know it won't hurt me so don't tell me. All right, so it's giveaway time. The first 14 people that responded to last week's video correctly are on the wheel. Let's give it a spin and see who wins. And the winner is Ron Dodson. Ron, I will be contacting you via email. I'll be sending you a $25 Amazon gift card and a few mystery items that you can resell for some profit. Hope you enjoy them. This is the Clue board game from 1963. Saw it at a garage sale, just thought it was cool. I've never seen one that old before and it was only a dollar. So I picked it up. I've definitely had this thing listed for over a year and it finally sold. Sold for $17.95. The cool thing is, it's actually going to be used as a prop for a TV show. The buyer sent me a message, said they wanted it overnighted and they're willing to pay for it. And it's going to be used on a TV show. If I find out which one, I'll let you know. Stop it! Man, she's tough. I know. 
I do get it. Pretty cool hat going out. This is from the Oak Ridge Boys. Paid a dollar for it and it sold for $19.95. Surprisingly, it's not vintage. I didn't realize those guys were still around. They've been around for a long time. So I picked up this wooden pipe holder from a garage sale. Paid $5 for it. I think it had four different pipes with it. I've sold like two of them for $20 a piece. And this is just a basic wooden pipe holder. Holds six pipes. Got a little pipe rest here. Built-in humidor. Paid $5 for it and the pipes, and this guy just sold for 30 bucks. So I sold the Starship Enterprise. This is the Star Trek Next Generation. It's like the main ship from the show, and it's in really good condition. It's actually never had the stickers put on it. It's the collector's edition. It was missing the instructions, I believe, but I paid $5 for it from a garage sale, and comps were really all over the place, but I let it go for 40 bucks. I sold this Brett Favre jersey and it's a Reebok on field jersey. I actually picked it up when my daughter and I were doing the 100 mile yard sale up in Virginia. I think I paid $3 for it and it sold for $34.50. One of you guys commented on that video that Reebok doesn't make jerseys anymore so they're kind of a little bit more valuable. So I appreciate that comment. I always love learning from you guys so keep it up. I always appreciate when you comment on the videos. But like I said, paid $3 for this one and it sold for $34.50. Sold some yarn. This is Burnett Satin red yarn it's called bordeaux is the color i'm not real sure it might be discontinued but i paid 89 cents a piece for these and they sold for 22. so i saw these nike lady air max shoes at the salvation army they wanted 9.99 for them they had this cool bright shiny colorway really nice clean condition on the outside they are missing insoles on the inside but i knew somebody would still want them paid 9.99 for them and they sold for 54.99 on ebay in a couple of months you guys remember micro machines from back in the day I actually found these at a thrift store. There was a box full of like vintage toys. I found a bunch of micro machines. There's 23 in this bag. Paid $6 for everything. Also got a bunch of micro machines accessories I need to list. Incidentally, I never really had many micro machines. I do remember the commercial, the guy that could talk really fast. This is the Micro Machine Man, presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of Micro Machines. Each one has dramatic details, terrific trim, precision paint jobs, plus incredible Micro Machine pocket play sets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature play sets to play with, and each one comes with its own special edition Micro Machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. And also, I did have the Micro Machines Nintendo game. I probably spent way too many hours playing that thing. But I listed these 23 Micro Machines up for auction because I just kind of didn't want to sell them separately. I did look up a few of them, and they weren't really selling for that much. I paid $6 for them plus some accessories and these sold at auction for $29. This is a pair of Corral Western boots. I've never heard of that brand before, but when I saw them at the Salvation Army, I tried to look them up. Couldn't find exact comps, but ones by this brand were going pretty good. So I decided to pick them up for $9.99. They're not in great condition. Definitely some scratches on the toes up here. But like I said, I paid $9.99 for them. I had them listed for $75. Finally got an offer for $63.50 after about two months decided to take it so this is a vintage northrop king that's what the patch is for hat it's, i think they're like a seed distributor not real sure but it's very vintage k products made in the usa something you want to be on the lookout for this one the foam is completely gone i just kind of scrub it out and vacuum it real quick and it sold for 1950 i've got maybe a dollar into it so i kind of thought these vintage levi's denim jackets were worth more than they actually are I paid 575 for this one from goodwill it's not that old and, but it is in really good condition and it did sell quick. Paid $5.75 for it and sold for $44.50. Most of them that I saw were selling in the $30 range plus shipping. So yeah, definitely not worth as much as I thought. So I'm always on the lookout for these little mini recorders, the tape recorders and the digital ones like this, especially if they're Sony. Sony tends to sell really well. I paid $2 for this one and it sold on eBay for $35 in a couple of weeks. Found this Team Yamaha like mechanics work shirt at a local thrift store. It was only $2 and it had like this cool patch on it. It's Yamaha branded. I just thought it was pretty cool and figured somebody would want it. Sure enough, I paid the $2 for it, listed it on eBay, and it sold in a couple of weeks for $19.95. You guys may remember last week I sold a popcorn bucket. Well, I sold another one this week. Same lady, same garage sale. Paid a dollar for this one. Unfortunately, this one didn't sell for as much, but either way, it sold for $34.50. This is the Mickey Elf Christmas popcorn bucket his hat opens up so that you can put the popcorn inside pretty neat actually 